Hello everyone, Amazing Gamer 111 here, and welcome back to another episode of Bando Kazooie. And today we're starting off at the, the title screen. You know, let's uh, let's just cook up some log and get straight into the game. So, in the last episode, we completed Mumbo's Mountain, which was a shitload of fun. And in this episode, we're going to be doing Treasure Trove Cove, and I'm pretty excited to get into that. So let's do it. Oh boy, I've actually I've actually been waiting ages to record this next episode. So let's do it. But before we do, I actually want to bring your attention to this woman over here. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentelda. Brentelda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid our fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. Sure thing. Get your bath bags ready, folks. This is great. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese flavored toothpaste. That's one. Number two. She also, she also washes her hair with baked beans. Yuck. Ew. And she gets her clothes from the trash can. God, you think she's homeless after hearing all this? Okay. So, since we collected all the jiggies from the last world in the previous episode, we can fill in these. To remove pieces that you already have put, uh, you have already put down, press the C button. But once the picture is complete, all jiggies are stuck there permanently. No problem. <laughs> Treasure Trove Cove. Oh boy. I don't know if we're going to complete the whole thing in this video, folks, but uh, we're sure as hell going to try. Um, we're going to try and get half of it done, actually, in this episode, so. Oh, we got a grubbling over here. No, not a grubbling, a gruntling. Haha, <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. And if you come down here, folks. Do, 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 we find a little ding pot, but it's not ding pot. It's actually a magic cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. I'll keep that in mind, my friend. I'll keep that in mind. Yee, 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 yee. So, oh, hello. I've learned this spell. It's really neat. I'll keep it later for your treat. So I've started, like, I've sort of been practicing. I've been playing Banjo Tui in the meantime, and I've actually found myself giving the characters proper voices. Um. So yeah, it's it's been fun. Um, I've just been playing Banjo Tui as sort of a test run. So if I can 100% Tui, then I'll definitely play it on the channel uh, after Kazooie. So I want to hit this quickly, but uh, we can't actually uh, go through that gate yet because we haven't even done World Two. What's World Three over here? You might ask. Well, you'll find out later. <laughs> oh yes, you will. Mm, actually, you know what? Yay! 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 Okay, so then we hit this thing. This actually gives us some extra stuff. Boop! Nice. So then, folks, what you want to do is you want to hop up here. Nice. Mm. Yes! Oh, 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 that was close. Then you find Bruntelda again. Or Brentelda. Grunty wears a reinforced griddle under her repulsive dress of hers. Oh, gross. She also got this nasty pet dog, whose name is Big Big Knocker. Did that say? That's actually actually kind of funny. I don't know if I read that right, but okay. My sister sings in her own band. Grunty and the Monster Mob. They're awful. What does she What does she like? Perform with zombies, skeletons, and creepers. In that case. Wee! I'm a red feather. I help as we fly, and she knows how. Alright, so this is like, I'm just unlocking this stuff now so we don't have to do it later. Okay, so now that that's all over and done with, let's go to Treasure Trove Cove, shall we? Let's do it. So I'll see you guys there in just a hot second. Cue the awesome transmission! I meant transition, and there's also something else I want to show you guys. Another cauldron! Yeah, you've activated a magic cauldron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Whee! Oh, come on, go. You're probably wondering how I even found this cauldron, guys. Well, it didn't take me two seconds, literally. You just go through here. Yeah, it's literally right underneath where we just were, so... So, where we want to go to find Treasure Trove Cove is just down here. Woo! God, I had a bunch of fun doing the Webhead livestream, man. That was so much fun. 
Oh, also, yeah, I, I forgot. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to I think uh, his name is How to Games or something along those lines. I'll throw it up on the screen for you guys. This guy actually makes some pretty cool like Minecraft stuff, uh, like sort of like update videos is what they feel like to me, but I, I could be wrong. So um, yeah, definitely check him out. He's actually pretty cool. He's pretty awesome. Anyways, here we are in Treasure Trove Cove. Oh yeah, let's do it. Oh hi there. This be Treasure Trove Cove. There be two new moves for you to find. All right, but before we do find those new moves, oh, uh, uh, go. Snacker smells tasty dinner. Stay just there. No. Ha ha ha. Nice try, jackass. Whoa ha ha. I'm too fast for you. Oh, it's Mr. Krabs. How you doing, Mr. Krabs? Erg, 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 erg. Hey, this huge in Krabs beach. You find nothing without me. Without my help. Help us, crustacean brain. Grr. Cheeky feather need bird. <laughs> Cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah, just try it, shellhead. All right then, we fight Mr. Krabs now then. And all you gotta do is just hit him with Kazooie's beak. Bird, you were a nipper. Makes me mad. Yeah. This third hit actually took me a while to actually try and get him. Yeah. Oh, he's fucking dead. Woo! Alright, so then we go in here. I should use the town trot for this. It makes things a lot faster. Oh, God. You know, like, while I'm actually playing, I'm just gonna commentate about a few stories. So, um... Oh yeah, actually, Jiggy, give me, give it a fucking no, no, get away! Oh, oh, you piece of die! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're just really destructive. You may be cute, but you're also destructive. Okay, give me that, give it to Jiggy. Dun 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 dun. dun. That little ditty's starting to grow on me. <laughs> okay, um. So yeah, I want to commentate about quick story in primary school actually while I'm playing, guys. So I hope she doesn't mention me. Uh, I hope she doesn't mind me mentioning this. I bet someone's gonna send this to her at some point. I might put it on my Instagram. Um, so back in primary school, there was this girl named Evie. All right, um, and I, I, I even apologized to her for this um, when I spoke to her last year, just as a text, like, "Hey, how you doing?" and all that. I crushed on her so bad in school to the point where I wouldn't leave her alone. And I, I know I was annoying. I only realize that now. Um, I didn't back then. I didn't really care. But it's Evie, if you're watching this, again, I'm sorry I was such a such a, a nuisance back in the day. Uh, because for the love of God, I would not leave her alone. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring! Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry. The turkey does all the work! I friggin' love the banter between Kazooie and Bottles, it's just crazy. Okay, so, to, to perform the spring jump, yeah, you just you just jump on these things. And it's actually a pretty cool thing, I learned this from Game Grumps. Uh, or is it Game Grumps or Beard Bros, I don't know. You know, you know what my dream is, guys, to one day, like, either have Grant Kirkhope on an episode of Banjo-Kazooie, or actually, like, meet him in real life. If I can get one of those two things, that would be epic. Like, I would kill to have Grant Coco on this Let's Play, dude. Grant, if you're watching, uh, <laughs> I, I love you, man. I really hope I can, like, talk to you, if it, even if it's just for an hour on video call or something. That would be amazing, because you are the best. You are the best music composer I know. You shaped my childhood, and I love you. All right. So, what do we want to do now? Oh yeah, we want to go see Captain Blubber! What happened to your Captain Blubber? Has anyone else seen that Banjo 3, like, cartoon that someone made? Oh my god, that takes me way back, dude. Alright. <laughs> uh, ahoy there, I Captain Blubber. I lost me treasure when me ship crashed. I go find it then, Blubber Guts. Uh, but I can't swim. Can you help me don't see, Hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. <laughs> Just laugh. Oh, it cracks me up. It's brilliant. <laughs> oh, there's a mumbo token there. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Don't fall in the water, whatever you do. Okay. Give me the mumbo token. Actually, before I go up there, I want to do this. I might as well help out the blubber, blubber guts over here. <laughs> Alright. Wait. Swim! Swim! There's actually a really cool trick in Tui that actually helps you swim faster. But uh, I don't want to spoil it in case I uh, do end up playing Tui. Hoi there, I'd be Blubber's treasure. 
Yes, you do. Some characters I don't bother giving like proper voices. I don't like. I, uh, come on, let me just give it the fucking. Give it a. Yeah, Ika Boka. Nice. Some characters I don't bother giving proper voices because they only speak once in the whole game. So I just come up with whatever on the spot. But you guys know how it is. Do, 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 do. So there's one. Hey, that'd be only half me goal. Well, g give me a freaking chance to go and get the rest, eh? Jackass. Thank you. Alright, where's... Oh, wait, why am I going up? I still need to get these notes. And the rest of the treasure. Right. Nice work. I'm probably gonna, like, split this video into two. Like, I'm gonna have this video, and then the next episode will probably be consisting of me finishing Treasure Trove Cove. Because I'm probably gonna do- I'm gonna do half a Treasure Trove Cove in this video, and then the rest in the next. Like, I'm gonna get five jiggies and, like, 50 nerds. Uh, and then finish it off in the next episode. Alright, blow guts. Oh, boy. Oh, there we go. Got your treasure. Can I? There we go. Me treasure! Thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm, I'm off to spend, spend, spend! Thank you for the jiggy, my boy. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Go, bro. Nice. Okay. Let me up! Right. Let's continue. Mm. 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 All right, bottles. Teach me how to fly, boyo. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, boggy eyes. Did you say bog eyes or boggy eyes? Okay, so we just stand on the flying disc and press A. Here's 25 feathers, help you get in the air. Woo! Let's fly. Nice, you learned all the cove's new moves. Oh, sweet, thank you. And if we go on top of here, guys, I want to show you. Yeah. And yes, I am 100 percent in this game. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Alright. Fly! Ooh, ooh, ooh. To, to fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one. Alright. So behind here, or in here, should I say, in this treasure chest, is Grunty's gold. This be Grunty's gold booty. Touch it if you dare. That gold treasure was for me! Now harder still the game will be! Oh yeah, well I beat it 100% on my test file, so I should be fine. <sighs> oh, there's some notes over there! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Ooh. Nice. Oh, Alright, come on, gimme! Yes! Sweetness! Alright, so what we want to do in this video is get 50 notes, and then get five jiggies and um, maybe one of the honeycombs and then we'll finish the rest of this world in the next episode um, oh I hear leaky aha there you are haha <laughs> hello leaky me leaky no good for water can bear block hole with pebble I can take a shit in you if that's what you're asking leaky patched up now empty water you uh, now empty water for bear boom he's fucking dead Oh god, this sandcastle, dude. So much stuff to do with this sandcastle, it's incredible. I may have a bonus episode showing off what this stuff does, I'm not... I'm not sure, I might. Eh, I'll collect 51, why not? I'll collect what's in here, and then we'll go and get the last five jiggies for the episode. And then we'll call it there. Well, not a five jiggy, not the last five jiggies, but just up to five. Eh. Uh. I'm obviously going to record the next episode right after this one. Hey, furball! You're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. So what do you got to do here, guys? Is just spell Banjo Kazooie in a hundred seconds, which should be easy. Uh, B A N J O. And then K should be around here. Yeah, there you are, K. Boop. Uh, A A A A. Hmm. Uh, Z, 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 Z. Is it Z or Z? I really don't care. John, John Troncola's Barbarians for pronouncing it different. Someone play the clip of that, please. Z, right? It's from the United Kingdom, and I, who else done says Z in the world? You call it a Zedra? A Zedra? A, do we call it a fucking Zebra? You fucking Barbarians? I'm sorry. Okay, where's the other? Oh, I can't find it. Oh, I was right next to it. Okay. And e. The gate opens to reveal your prize. 
But first, I'll cut you down to size. <laughs> yep, right. Add some Ed Ed and Eddie sound effects in there. That would be pretty funny. Alright. Alright, one more jiggy and then we'll end off the episode, folks. So I'm gonna, I want to cut this into two. Let me out. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> now, there is one honeycomb in this world, but it's actually quite a challenge to grab, and it's way out there somewhere. Is that it there? Or is that an extra life? No, it's extra life. Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Where is... Okay, so that's the start of the level. You can actually kill Snacker, guys, by the way. The shark. You can kill him. But, um, you'll have to poop on him. Like, with eggs or shoot him with eggs or something. Um. Okay, so it should be out here. Is it this way? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Right. Oh. Ah. Cheese and crackers. Just wait there. Oh no. Yeah, watch this guy. Oh, or he could just disappear. You know, there's that too. Eh. Ah, swim! Swim! Coffee and mints? I'll be over. I'll be right over. Yeah, sure you will. Okay, so I know where to get the, the final jiggy of the episode. And then we'll finish this world in the next one. Um, and I'm not exiting this game because that means I'd have to collect all the notes and gingos and whatnot over again. And I'm not about that life, thank you. I'd rather just record, like, a click clock word, like, I... I underestimated that world. I thought it was going to be really boring to play, but in actuality, it's actually really fun. Like, all the worlds I had fun with in my practice file, and, you know, it's... Like, wow! This game is like, there is not one part of this game I really have a gripe with. And there we go, so that's 50% of the world done, guys, um, which means we're going to have to end this episode off here, so... Um, this may have felt short. It, it might be pretty short compared to a lot of other Let's Play episodes, but you know what? Hope you all enjoyed today's episode of Banjo-Kazooie, and, uh, I'm gonna go record the next episode where I finish Treasure Show of Curve, so look forward to that. See you guys next time, and bye-bye!